After unboxing your shining new laptop, you decided to try something you've never done before, Linux. You did some research online and decided to go with Linux Mint because it has a Windows-like user interface and it is easy to use for beginners. You back up all your files, download and burn the ISO files and boot up the system only to find out you couldn't even make it through the first installation process. You're angry, frustrated, wondering why do people suggest such a system if it is so hard to install. For the past few years, I noticed a lot of websites fail to mention to the beginners that Linux Mint is designed to be stable. So it uses slightly older technologies to be able to provide a longer lifespan for its user. Which means it is perfect if you just want to revive your old laptop or you just have one single integrated graphic card in your system. But it is almost guaranteed the installation won't be as smooth as it's suggested if you're using a brand new gaming laptop. On the flip side, it is an amazing distribution if you can set it up properly. It is stable, fast, and user-friendly. Today, I will show you my whole setup process on my ASUS Gaming Laptop 2020 model, so you can be vigilant if you still want to use it on your shining new gears. I will also give you some other suggestions if you don't want to use Linux Mint as your first distribution at the end of this video. So let's begin. To set up installation, I'm using Ventoy on this Kingston 32GB USB stick. So all I did here was to check if the ISO file is in the correct partition. And I'm using a Synology NAS system to back up all of my files. So I don't have to do anything here. You can also use Dropbox or Google Drive as your personal backup solutions. And if you want to learn more on how to use Vintoy, how to backup your files, and how to switch system fast, please check out my other video, which I'll put a link in the description below. Because my laptop has dual GPUs, so in the boot up screen from the installation, I chose the compatibility mode to start a graphical interface. I use the installation program next to wipe out the whole system with a clean installation. And the first time boot up gave me a black screen. So I turned off the system by holding the power button. Then I enter the grub menu by hitting escape right after the ASUS logo. This might be different for your device. I click E to edit the boot entry. I added the word no mode set at the end of the line which starts with Linux. Hit Ctrl X to continue boot up, and then I was able to enter the system. Linux Mint is built on top of Ubuntu LTS version, which means the latest Mint is still using the kernel version 5.4. And if we go to the Linux kernel website, and we can see that this version is released back in November of 2019. And because my laptop is released in March of 2020, so before setting up anything else, I decided to upgrade the Linux kernel. And thankfully, the Mint team has provided an awesome kernel manager built in in their distribution. If we go to the update manager, click on view and Linux kernel, we can see the current version in use. And also we can update it to the one we want. After that, I did a reboot. And this time the system boot up correctly without me having to edit the grub menu again which gave me a lot of confidence proceeding to install the NVIDIA proprietary driver. To install the NVIDIA driver, open up driver manager, select the latest version, install and reboot, and you will see the NVIDIA icon in the system tray after the reboot. Right click on it and you can switch to different GPU mode. With NVIDIA out of the way, most of our jobs are done. Let's install Steam and play some games. Steam can be found in their software manager. Select the first option and install it. Then Steam menu. Go to settings and click on Steam Play. Enable Steam Play for all other titles. Restart Steam and then choose some games to install. To run native game, it is as easy as clicking on play. But for Windows game, let's go to ProtonDB. Search for the game title. Click on the gear icon. Change the type to Tinker. Specify your CPU, GPU, and distribution. Then follow the guide. Here I copied this command from the website. Went back to Steam. Right click on the game. 
and go to local files. Open up the terminal in this location and paste the command. The game launched correctly, but I noticed something else. The graphic is quite laggy, and I realized it was because the game was using AMD GPU. So I changed the profile to NVIDIA Performance Mode, and the game crashed after that. And after several attempts of changing the Proton version, profile switching, and system rebooting, the game is running in NVIDIA mode magically without me knowing how I was able to fix it. But at least, the whole system is working as expected now. These are all the issues I ran into when I tried to set up Linux Mint. As a daily user of Linux, I couldn't even figure out how I was able to solve the final gaming issue. So I couldn't imagine how frustrated it would be for a new user when they are going through the same things. So I suggest when we recommend a distribution to a new user, not only do we need to mention the advantage of using such system, but also we need to warn them about the issues they may encounter when they set it up. Because at the end of the day, we want to see more and more people start enjoying using Linux systems instead of got discouraged and going back to Windows or Mac OS. If you reach this part of the video, you may wonder, if not Mint, then what? If you're a gamer, I suggest you use any of these Arch-based Linux because Arch is aiming to provide all the cutting edge technologies. So you will always have the support for your new gears. But if you're not confident enough as a beginner, I suggest use Manjaro. It is partially based on Arch Linux, but it is also focused on the stability. And finally, if you just want to use Linux for your professional work, I suggest give Fedora a try because it is an enterprise targeted distribution without any proprietary software. And that's it guys, thank you for watching. And if you think that this video is helping you daily driving a Linux system, please hit the like button. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.